This video we're going to apply what we learned about nets last week. So when we were working on our project, we talked about making the nets, which is the pattern that you, you draw on the paper, which you cut out and then folds up into a solid. So we're going to look at problems about drawing the nets and then finding the surface area. This level two, we're going to focus on two basic shapes, cubes and rectangular prisms. So the first question here, we have a cube, <coughs> and it says draw the net, label the side lengths, and find the surface area of the cube. And as it turns out, cubes are very, very easy to do, because all the side lengths are the same. Okay? So, what I always do when I'm drawing these shapes, I always draw the piece that's like sitting on the floor first. So if you imagine that this is sitting on the floor or on a table, this piece here is the one that's actually in contact with the table. So I'm going to draw that first. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have, I'm going to do it in blue, sorry. This here. <clears throat> now, next, I'm going to draw the sides. So I'm going to draw this side here. Okay. So I'm going to put it here. And now I'm going to draw the one on the other side, which is there. Now I'm going to draw the back, which is this piece, and the front, which is this piece. Okay, so the back goes on here, and the front goes here. Right, now there's one thing we're missing. What we're missing is the top, which is this little piece. Now what I can do is I can add that on to any of these. I can add it on here, for example, which I'm going to do. But I could also add it on over here, or up here, or over here if I wanted to. So now, that's the net drawn. So the next little piece then is to find the surface area. So we know that each of the lengths are seven. That's seven, that's seven, that's seven, and so on. They're all sevens. Okay? So we have really is we have six squares. So if you work out what the area is, the area of each one is seven by seven. So this is 49, 49, this is all centimeters squared, by the way. 49. 49. Okay, so how do we get it at 49? Well, each, each of the little squares has side 7 and length 7, length and width 7. So 7 by 7 is 49. So the surface area, so I'm going to write SA for surface area, is equal 6 times 49. Okay, because there's, there's six forty nines, and that's a total of two hundred and ninety four centimeters squared. Okay, now the cube is very easy because all the lengths are the same. That's what makes cubes so easy. Let's look at the next one. So we have here is a rectangular prism. So first up, I'm going to draw the net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a dotted. I'm going to draw in this little thing here. Just hold on. Okay, so that's a little better. So that just shows the sides, the back, and that, that you can't see. I've put them in a dotted lines. So again, like I said, I'm going to start firstly by drawing this bottom piece here, which is the, is the part that's in touch with the floor, or with the base of the table, okay? So it's 29 by 35, so I'm going to go 35, 29. Alright, so I can write in 35... 29. Now, because the side lengths are different, or can be different with a rectangular prism, you have to be careful. So the next one I'm going to draw in then, I'm going to draw in this little piece here, okay, which is 35 by 21, because this here is 21. Okay, so I have my 35 already, now I make it 21. Okay, so this here is 21. Now, the back of it is going to be the same, right? So I'm going to draw this piece here now. Okay, the back rectangle. So 35, 21 again. Okay, now we'll go for the two sides. So consider this to be one side, and this here to be the other. All right? So they are 29 
by 21. So we have our 29 here, and here is also 29, so we add the 21 in. Alright, and then what are we missing? We're missing the top, which is this piece here. So that is 35 by 21, so I can go to one of my 35s. Alright, and go. Sorry, it's 35 by 29, I apologize. So I go on my 35 and I go up to 29. Okay, so we already know that this one there I marked in red is 35, the side of that is 29. Because it's going to be this here and this here are the same. Because one is the top and one is the bottom. And it's a, like a rectangular box. Okay. So now we want to find the surface area. <clears throat> so. Let's have a look at how we would do this. Let's come down a little bit lower. Okay. So they're all just rectangles, which makes it easy. So for the surface area. So if we look at this box here, this is 35 times 21, <clears throat> okay, for this box, and this box here is the same, 21 by 35. So all we have is 35 times 21 times 2, because we have two of those boxes, all right? Now let's look at this one here, and this one here, they're the same. They're both 35 by 29, so it's 35 times 29 times 2. And now we have two left, which is this one, and that will be 29 by 21. Okay, because this length here is 21. Right, so 29 times 21 times 2. Alright, let's so now work them out and you add them all up. So you're going to get 1,470 centimeters squared. You can do this in your calculator. Here you will get 2,030 centimeters squared. And here you will get 1,218 centimeters squared. And then you add them up. Okay, so the surface area is equal to 1,400, no sorry, let's go back on that, apologies, it's going to be 4,718 centimeters squared, <coughs> total area, alright, so that's how it works, so I found the area of all the surfaces and add them up, next, <coughs> Mary has a gift for her friend's birthday in a box with length. It should be a rectangular box, by the way, a rectangular prism shaped box. So the length is 24, the width is 20, and the height is 15. So length, 24. It says the height is 15, and the width is 20. So it's going to look something like that. Okay? Don't worry about how accurate your drawing is. You're just trying to draw something so that you'll have a visual kind of representation of the question. So what you have is 24, 20, and 15. Okay, so I'll put the 15 out here just to make it clearer, just there. All right, so you're going to draw the net for this. So what I'm going to do in dotted lines, I'm going to put in... Okay, so it would be that as well. All right, so following the same strategy as before... I'm going to draw the piece that's on the floor, which is a 24 by 20. Don't worry if it doesn't look like a 24 by 20. Just make sure it's just the image and you label them right. So this is the 24, 20. Now, draw the two sides. So the right-hand side and the left-hand side, which is a 15 by 20. So there's your 20 already. There's your 15. Which I just mark here. That's 15. Okay, and then the side opposite is going to be the same. All right, 15. Now all of these here are 20s, remember. So, now we're going to draw the back, and the back is 24 by 15. Okay, so you have your 24 here already, which I'm just kind of going over. Up 15, 
like that, and the front is the same. Okay, 24, so I'm going to put the 15s are already there, 15 here. And the last thing you need to draw on is the top, and the top is 24 by 20, so you've already your 24, draw in your 20, and that's it. Okay. So now, what we can do, <coughs> or what we're going to do, is we're going to find the area of each of these little rectangles and add them all up. Okay? So, let's look at the very top one here. So, the dimensions of that, this here is a 15, and this here is a 24. 15 times 24 is 360. Alright? Now, this one here next, the dimensions, that's a 24, that's a 20. 24 by 20 is 480. Next below it here, 24 by 15, 360. And underneath it again, 24 by 20, 480. Now let's do the two sides. The two sides is 20 by 15, which gives you 300 and 300. Alright, now add them all up. So a surface area, how do we do it? I'm just going to drag this up. So it's going to be 36 times 2, which is 720. It is going to be 300 times 2, because there's two of them, which is 600. And it's going to be 480 times 2, which is 960. Add them all up, and you get a total of... 2,280 centimeters squared. That's the amount, of, the minimum amount of paper she needs to cover the box. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to put a practice worksheet so you can work on a few more of these if you're not sure.